Hello everyone and welcome to Jackal Educational Channel. So this is the crash course series continuation and today we are starting a new unit which is Unit 6, Environmental Pollution and Control. So this is the 30th part of the crash course series and if you haven't checked the previous lessons, the link is in the description below. So let's start today's video. So we will start with the basic question and the first question is, the sick building syndrome is caused by which of the following air pollutants? So for some students, it will be a new term, but I will tell you this is caused by the action of formaldehyde. Yes, SBS that is sick building syndrome is a medical condition in which people suffer from symptoms of illness or they feel unwell for no apparent reason. But formaldehyde is the cause for SBS. So that is the indoor pollutant which is causing the SBS. So now if we are talking about indoor pollutants, Let's see what are the important list of indoor air pollutants. So I've kept it for you and we'll read one by one. The important indoor pollutants are asbestos, carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, radon, indoor particulate matter and volatile organic compounds. So most of the students are knowing about the outdoor air pollutants but aap sab ye jo indoor pollutants ka list hai aap ek bar likh lijiye which will be very important for the examination point of view. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is, West Geek method is used for monitoring which of the following air pollutants? So this is very important one and you have known that this has been asked several times. Ye bahut bar pucha gaya hai. And aap sabko pata hai, iska correct answer is sulfur dioxide. So jinne nahi pata hai, aap note kar le. Sulfur dioxide is monitored through West Geek method. So why I've included this here because I want to tell you that what are the air pollutants and their monitoring methods through this question. Yes, we will see one by one. Okay, for every air pollutant, the first one is sulfur dioxide which we have discussed in the question that West Geek method is used to monitor sulfur dioxide along with UV fluorescence methods. So you have to remember both of these. Next comes oxides of nitrogen. So these are monitored using Jacob and Hockeyser method that is sodium arsenide method and also with chemiluminescence method. Next is PM. PM is not prime minister, it is particulate matter 2.5 and particulate matter 10 which are monitored using gravimetric method, beta attenuation method and one more method, it is TEOM method. So it is wrong, it will be TEOM which is tapered element oscillating microbalance method. So you have to remember this terminology. Next comes ozone. So ozone kis tarah monitor hota hai? Ozone is monitored using UV photometric method and chemiluminescence method. Next is lead. So lead is one of the important criteria air pollutant which is measured with atomic absorption spectrophotometry. Next is carbon monoxide which is NDIR monitor method. Se monitor kiya jata hai. Next is ammonia which is measured using chemiluminescence method. Also indophenol blue method. So this is also asked for indophenol blue method. Next is benzene. So benzene is monitored using GC based that is gas chromatography based continuous analyzer and adsorption method is also used and desorption method followed by GC that is gas chromatography. Next comes benzoapyrene. So this air pollutant is monitored by solvent extraction method followed by HPLC that is high performance liquid chromatography and which is coupled with gas chromatography technique. Next is arsenic and nickel. So, ye dono ko monitor karne ke liye atomic absorption spectrophotometry use kiya jata hai ya fir ICP method use kiya jata hai after sampling on EPM 2000 or equivalent. So, let's move to our next question. The next question is identify the wrong statement about smog. So, we know smog are of two kinds that is London smog and Los Angeles smog. So, here you have to see that which statement is wrong. And here the wrong statement is statement D. Yes, because the London smog causes problem in the respiratory tract that is in lungs, but the Los Angeles smog causes the problem in our eyes. But rest this statement that is London smog was first seen in 1952 is correct. London smog is also reducing in nature which is correct. And the third option Los Angeles smog is a photochemical smog is also correct. The next question is identify the correct sequence for the global warming potential of the following greenhouse gases. 
so here the ascending order is given and you have to see which is the correct sequence for the increasing global warming potential of the greenhouse gases so yahan pe jo correct option hai wo hai option number a yes because we will see how this is applicable to these greenhouse gases so this is the table for most of the important greenhouse gases with their global warming potential so you can see the global warming potential of carbon dioxide is 1 i think everybody knows that methane global warming potential is 25 the nitrous oxide global warming potential is 298 to 310 that is n2o next is hfcs which are having the global warming potential as 77 to 14800 and followed by perfluorocarbon compounds which are having global warming potential as 6500 to 12200 but the most having the global warming potential among the greenhouse gas is sf6 in this following table so sulfur hexafluoride is having the global warming potential of 22800 to 23900 so note down this table in your notes so here is the next question for today's lesson and which is a numerical so this question is one mole of ideal polluting gas is filled in a closed box of volume 1 meter cube so this is telling a gas is ideal in nature which is polluting and it is filled in a closed box of volume 1 meter cube at a temperature of 27 degree celsius so what we have to find is find the pressure exerted by it it means the gas the ideal polluting gas on the walls of container so here are the options given so let's see how to solve these kind of questions so why it has been given that ideal polluting gas because the gas is following the ideal law equation so ideal gas law the standard equation for ideal gas law is pv is equal to nrt which i feel a small child of class 12 also knows so this is the important formula and from this formula we will get the answer next what we have to do we will just put the values so hame kya likhna hai we have to calculate the p so that's why p is equal to nrt divided by v so this is the formula to get the answer so what is n here n is number of moles so mole kitna hai that is given 1 mole so we have to write 1 multiplied by r so what is r you should know that r is the gas constant and its value is 8.314 that is the unit is joule mole inverse kelvin inverse you have to remember this joule mole inverse kelvin inverse is the unit of r then comes the temperature so temperature kitna hai we have to multiply the temperature temperature is 27 degree celsius and i have said in the previous lessons that you have to convert it in kelvin so kelvin ke liye kya karna padega just add 273 so it will be 300 if you add 273 to 27 then finally we have to divide this value by v so what is the volume volume is 1 meter cube so simply write one so what we have to do we have to simply multiply 300 into 8.314 to get the answer so what you have to do is if you are not able to write or don't write 8.314 in case of r so uske badle aap kya likh sakte hain so for simple easy calculation instead of r prefer writing 25 by 3 so 25 by 3 will be 8 point something that will be around 8.314 which is close to r so when we are solving by putting all this value in this formula we are getting the answer as 2700 pascal so you should also try this and see whether it is correct or wrong and here in option number a the correct option is given that is 2700 pascal will be the pressure exerted by this gas on the walls of container so if you want to know about ideal gas and difference between non ideal gas then i have made a video on this you can check in the link given in the description below so guys that's all for today's video you can also join our telegram group where we are conducting regular quiz that is 2020 quiz for the net 2020 environmental science exam that will be helpful for you and yes don't forget to like this video and subscribe this if you haven't subscribed till now